guys, it's Raymond, a math person. Today I'll be going over question 57 on SI exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, ask me already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So they give you a moment generating function. So what's cool about moment generating functions is that moment generating function, the first derivative at zero is exactly the expectation of x. And likewise, the second derivative zero, evaluated at zero is exactly the second moment. So knowing this, we can actually find a standard deviation by taking a square root over a variance where a variance of x is equal, exactly equal to x second moment minus the first moment squared. All right, so then let's take the derivative. The first derivative, I think it's easiest to just think of it like 1 minus 2, 5, 0, 0, t to the negative fourth. So when we take the first derivative, that's equal to negative 4. We're bringing a number out, 1 minus 2, 5, 0, 0, t and we subtract 1, so that would be negative 5, times the chain rule, the negative 2, 5, 0, 0. So then when you're evaluating at 0, this is exactly equal to 2, 5, 0, 0 times 4, which is 10,000. All right, let's take the second derivative. The second derivative of t is equal to, we bring that out, so you get negative 20, 1 minus 2, 5, 0, 0 to negative 6 times the chain rule. Again, right? <laughs> but this will be negative. Alright, let's check it out. So this is exactly just 20 times 2, 5, 0, 0 times 2, 5, 0, 0 because the two negatives make a positive, which is equal to 1, 2, 5, comma, 0, 0, 0, comma, 0, 0, 0, 6 zeros. Alright, so let's plug it in our on formula, 1, 2, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 10,000 squared. But then we have to remember to take a square root of these. So this is equal to 5,000, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!